Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Faith, and welcome back to my channel. I know that I have been MIA for a hot minute. I just needed a break, so it's been a few weeks, but I am back. I think I'm gonna upload this on Wednesday. I'm not sure yet, don't know, but I think Wednesdays are gonna be my upload days from now on. But yeah, I'm back, and today I'm gonna be doing a dorm room tour. You guys requested this video, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We just finished, like, finally putting the finishing touches on my room, because I'm very picky about, like, where I put my decorations, just because I can't make up my mind. But I figured it out, I think. So yeah, if you guys are interested, See what my dorm room looks like then just keep on watching also if you guys haven't done so yet make sure you hit the subscribe button right below me and let's go ahead and get into this video i will try and link all of the stuff that's still available to buy in my dorm down below so if you guys have questions or if i leave a link out just let me know in the comments and i'll try and get that for you asap so i'm gonna take you guys to the door and that's where we're gonna start obviously like where else would you start so this is the door it's nice made out of nice wood that's kind of it there's people all right let's see if we can see there's no one out there Anyway, that's the door. This is my closet area right here. So this actually has plenty of storage and I could have brought more clothes. So like a lot of people think when you go to college, you're not gonna have space, but like, trust me, I have plenty of space. So up here, I kind of just have all my jackets and sweatshirts, sweaters, and then my dresses and then some pants right there. And yeah, that's just kind of what I got. Nice and rainbow, kind of. Back here, I have my towels and then I just have some perfume, my little pork because he's cute. Look at him. And then this little sign because Gizmo is my bae. And then I have my wallet and then of course all of my masks are right here because I literally almost forget this every single time I go out. So I've tried to put them like right by the door so I'll remember them. Then I have hand sanitizer obviously. Down here I have my shoe storage. You can't see it because it's like behind the clothes but I just have all my like bigger boots that can't fit in this thing on the stand so they stay nice because obviously I don't want to ruin my dog Martins. Then right here I just have my little shoe stand hanging up and it has some more shoes in it and then some I think I have like sunglasses in here and then my car key and like hats and scarves and stuff are in that one and then here I just have all of my t-shirts I do have a sweatshirt down here because there wasn't space up there but I do usually just put t-shirts here so that's kind of my organization and yeah it fits a lot of clothes like I said I still have lots of space so that's good because I will buy more and you know if you have a shopping addiction you kind of need a little bit extra space and then we have like these three little cubbies I got these little bins from Target this has food in it and then this has more food in it because I love snacky snacks and then there's more space like actually behind it so I have more snacks and then I have some bags and hats and stuff back here and then if you're wondering what this is this was my art project and it's just up there right now because i don't know where to put it so i just put it up there then right here there's a little hanging thing you could hang something on we don't have anything on it but sometimes like when i'm hanging drying clothes i'll hang something there and then in this space right here we just have a bunch of cleaning supplies and this is my drying rack for my clothes highly recommend one of these because i don't dry any of my clothes so i need something to hang them on and this is perfect and it folds up and fits perfectly in this little compartment so yep that is my closet and then when you walk in the door and you turn to this side, we have our fridge and microwave that came with the room. Pretty spacious. I think ours is really messy right now, but yeah, I mean, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. There's no freezer though, that's kind of a bummer. I was watching my birthday vlog, you saw the ice cream got wrecked. And yeah, then there's a microwave, obviously. It's really cool in comments too, it's built into the wall. That's a plus. And then up here, there's a painting, that's my roommate's. And then I have this little hanger from Urban Outfitters, with these little plants that are from Ikea. And then this is from TJ Maxx, this is from Target. And then the flowers are from Anthro. And then these I got from Hobby Lobby. Then this is the bathroom, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. But before we go into the bathroom, this mirror that's hanging on the door is from Walmart. I love it, it's so nice, it's just, you always need like a good tall mirror in your room. Like I feel like you can't survive without it. And it's just really cute. And then on this wall right here, I just have this hanging moonlight from Urban. I had this in my dorm last year. Now for the bathroom, you just open the door. Another fancy wooden door, just like the other one. So when you first open the door, there's two hooks here for your towels. So I have my towel here that got wrecked from my acne medicine. Literally just bought these towels. So I'm kind of bummed because it's like, looks bleach. You can't really see it on this camera for some reason, but I promise it got wrecked. This is an overview of the bathroom. You want a little, little overview. So this curtain is from Target. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's really cute. I like how it has has like this little clear patch right here. I don't know, it just went really well with the aesthetic that I was going for. The bath mat is also from Target and I thought it just looked cute, like the colors together. Then right here I have this basket from TJ Maxx and I put toilet paper in it. We are obviously running low on toilet paper, but it's usually like filled up and it just adds some pizzazz to the bath. And then right here we have more towel rack. This is my roommate's and then this is mine. So I usually just put like my hand towel in here and then my makeup remover wipes and then my other towel hangs right there. And then above that I have this little garland. This 
is from Target, but I got it last year, so I don't know if they still have it, but I just hung it up because I thought the wall was bare. And obviously we have a nice handy dandy toilet because that's what a bathroom is for. Then I put a trash can right here. This is from Target. It's just a trash can. And then we have two shelves in here, and obviously it has a bunch of cleaning supplies and all of that jazz. Literally, guys, definitely recommend the sanitizing wipes from Target because they are lifesavers, so it's not too interesting. And then I have my hand soaps because if you guys know me, I have to have my hand soap. So I just got these like fall ones and they smell so good. I'm obsessed with the Halloween one. Like look how cute that is. And then this one reminded me of Harry Styles because it's watermelon lemonade. So did I buy it because it reminded me of Harry Styles? Yes, yes I did. Let me show you the shower so you guys can see. So this is what the shower looks like. Give you a little rundown. It's, you know, it's pretty nice. I'm not gonna complain. Like last year I had community showers and I really like having my own shower. So this is really nice and I'm very glad that I have it. Anyway, that is it for the bathroom. It's not that interesting. It's a bathroom, but you know. Next, when you walk in to the room to the right, we have our little sink and like vanity area. I guess that's what it's called if you want to use professional terms. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I just put this garland up. This is from Target. It's really cute. I love it. I had the same one last year, just different colors, but I was just kind of feeling the vibes of this one. So that's what that looks like. And then obviously we have a sink. There's my toothbrush, more hand soap. And then this is my side. Each like person gets their own side for their stuff. So on my side, this is what it looks like. I know I look like a crazy person because I keep things so organized but I just have to have my stuff look aesthetically pleasing or I just like cringe so that's why my stuff's super organized but yeah if you guys want to see all my skincare this would be my skincare and then what else is over here oh I have this hanging plant this I had last year it's from Target and then the plant is from Ikea and I just like it it just looks cute right there then underneath the sink we have two places for stuff so these are mine these bins are from Target I really like them I think they're really cute and it just has like all my hair stuff in here my teeth brushing stuff I don't even know what else is in here, but it's in here. Then these are my roommates. And then obviously we have little hooks to hang our hand towels on to dry our hands off. And then right here, I put a little bath mat. This is from Target. Then right here, we have this fancy little air vent cover that we hang stuff on because why not? So I just have some pictures. That's basically just a cute little spot to hang stuff on. Then coming over here, this is probably one of my favorite spots. I'm gonna say that about literally everything, but this one is one of my favorites. This is our little coffee cart. This cart is from Ikea. I'm obsessed with it, it's awesome because it moves so it's very easy to move around and it just fits all of our coffee stuff perfectly on it so obviously we have Keurig then I have my little pour over and then a little tea kettle for the pour over so that's on the top the Keurig was kind of too big but I made it work you know guys it kind of looks like a stylistic choice being slanted underneath we have my coffee there's some k-cups in there there's some tea I think this is honey just all the essentials that you need the quintessentials for coffee and then underneath we have our mugs our cups, utensils, and all of that fancy jazz underneath there. Then I have my vacuum cleaner right here because I plug it into charge and it just sits up right there. Sorry if it's loud, the air vent's literally right there. Then I hung up this really cute like macrame hanging thingy from TJ Maxx and then my infamous Rise and Shine Shine that I bought solely because it reminded me of Cryogenic. So yeah, I thought it was perfect to put above the coffee thing because, you know, Rise and Shine. So that's it for this area. This is our desk area and how we set up our room. You can kind of set it up however you want. But since we had the TV, we put our two desks together to put the TV on top and then it kind of gives like an even view from both of our beds. So above the TV, I have my really cute moon garland. This is from Urban. I had this last year. I absolutely love this. Then above that, I got these really cute light bulb lights. These are from Ikea and I just hung them across and it looks so cute at nighttime. Right above my desk, I hung up some more of my pictures that I used for my wall collage over here because I just thought it needed something and I kind of wanted it to match with over there. So I just hung up a few of them right here. I think it looks really cute. Then right here, I have my KKW perfume. This bottle is my aesthetic to a T, so I just have it right there. It also smells really good, 10 out of 10 recommend. Then I have this wood garland that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just wrapped it around my little fake plant from Target. Then I have this little light here. This is also from Target. Next, I have my jewelry stand. This is from Amazon. I just got this and I love it so much. And right here I have, um, my birthday card that Jake got me, which is Kim Kardashian crying, saying you're old. So I just put that right there because I can see it every morning. This is our TV. Um, I think it's from Target. Not really sure, but this is the TV. Then on top of my desk, I have some more picture frames. <laughs> These are all pictures of me and Gizmo. It's really cute. This plant is from Target, and this frame's from Target, and then this frame is from TJ Maxx. And then on this side, um, 
my water bottle. I have another picture of me and my mom, and this frame is from Target. Then I have this little sculpture figurine. I don't even know what that is. Like, what type of animal is that? Comment down below. What is it? But this is from Target. So is the plant. And then this little wooden sign, my youth group leader from back home made me. It has my favorite verse on it, and I just love it so much. I literally put this everywhere I go because I think it's just so cute. So that's pretty much everything that's on top of my desk. Now going below my desk, this is my chair. Like I said, if you guys watch my college essential videos, I definitely recommend getting a seat cushion because these chairs are literally hard as a rock. And then this blanket is from TJ Maxx. And then underneath, there's actually lots of storage underneath of these things. So this is kind of messy because I've been working on my robot, but I will show you what's underneath here. I have my James Charles palette back here. Then I have my two pencil cups. These are from Target and this has pencils and pens in it. And then this has all my makeup brushes in here. Then I have my little makeup mirror. This is also from Target. Now in this corner, we have my ginormous hot glue gun from my art project. My planners underneath here and then there's just like a box and then just some school stuff. And then back here, I have like more jewelry and hair accessories. My little Polaroid, some nail polish stuff. These are like 3M hooks, just miscellaneous items. Then underneath of the shelf, there's another shelf and this just kind of has a bunch of junk on it. And then over here, there's a little side compartment underneath as well. Like I said, tons of storage. So up here, I have my Bible, some notebooks. I have all of my essential oils in here because I'm that type of person. And then I have my essential oil rollers. And then there's probably some junk back there. I have like my hole puncher and stuff in there, but that's just what's on that shelf. Then on this shelf, I have my printer. Then in this drawer, I have all of my makeup. So that's kind of what I have in here. These little compartment things are from Target. So that's pretty much everything that's in my desk. So I'm sure you guys saw this in my move-in video, but I did do a photo collage wall. I've been getting a ton of questions on this, and I've said it like a million times, but for the millionth and one time, I went on this website called Printivity, and I ordered eight and a half by 11 prints on cardstock, and I got them in matte. And basically what I did was I found a bunch of cool pictures that I liked on the internet, and I edited them all with the same filter on the Teza app. I used the Inspire filter. That's why they kind of all kind of go together, because I did put the same filter on all of them. And yeah, I kind of just picked out stuff that I liked. There's some of Gizmo up there and then there's some of like Kendall Jenner. Just a lot of cute quotes and that's kind of how I made that. I just really wanted like a custom one because I like the ones they sell on the internet but they're very expensive and I wanted to do something that was a little bit more unique. So that's how I got that. If you guys want a tutorial, I actually followed this one girl's tutorial. I don't remember her name off the top of my head but I will link the video down below if you want more of like an in-depth tutorial. That's basically how I did it. It's pretty simple. It was very inexpensive and I got to customize it how I like. So that is my wall. It is literally my favorite thing in the entire universe. I love how it turned out. When I hung them up, I used painter's tape. If you guys wanted to know, painter's tape does not damage the wall and it's really easy to take down and remove. Plus it's a lot cheaper than 3M strips and I have trouble with 3M strips coming off the wall. Like it damages it pretty bad. Then right here over top of my bed, I also get questions on this. I made this myself. So I went outside into the wilderness and I got a stick and I brought it back home and I attached a bunch of yarn to it and that's what it looks like. Then for my bedding, the bedspread, which is actually a duvet. This is from Urban Outfitters. I got this half off. It's very cute and I like how it feels. It's a little bit rougher, but I actually like the texture of it. It has like little tufted polka dots on the bottom. This blanket is also from Urban. So cute. I just love the way it looks. All of my throw pillows are from Target. They're really cute and I love them. And so that's my bed. I also have a mattress top around here. Now coming over to my nightstand, my dad actually built this for me, so I can't link this. On top of it, I just have this fake cactus from Target. I have this really cute rock salt lamp that my mom got me. I think, I wanna say it's from Michaels, but you guys can literally get these anywhere. Then I obviously have my diffuser. Literally cannot go anywhere without this. We can't have candles in our dorms, and I absolutely love having stuff that smells good, so diffuser is the way to go. Mine is from Young Living. If you guys wanted to know, they have the best essential oil. I literally can't survive without my diffuser. I'm I'm running this thing like 24 7 guys then right next to it i have my lamp this is from ikea i love the light that this puts off and i just think it looks cute so that's everything that's on top of my nightstand then on the bottom shelf i have this little really cute like macrame basket from target i just have all of my nighttime stuff in here then right beside it i have my books that i'm reading these are some of my favorite books right now and then i have my blue light glasses on top so that's kind of what's right there it's pretty simple i like to kind of keep it clean and just not a lot of clutter so yeah i actually like how this turned out this is not my original design 
mine, but my dad forgot and made it his way. So this is what I got, but it turned out really cute. Next, I'm gonna show you guys underneath my bed. So there's literally like a crap ton of storage underneath here. Like I could fit so much more stuff under here if I wanted to. So obviously, since it's very tall, I have this little stool to get on top of my bed. Lifesaver. This is a from Hobby Lobby. Underneath here, I have my backpack, <laughs> and then there's a yoga mat. And then let me show you guys from around this angle. I have this wooden storage bin. It has a lot of my camera equipment in it. It's from Target. And then on top, I have a basket. This is from TJ Maxx, and I have some more camera stuff in there just to keep it organized. Next, we have our two dressers. So you each get two little dressers, and these honestly fit so much stuff in it. But yeah, I just have like all of my pants and stuff in here. What's in this one? More pants and sweatshirt. So that's kind of what's in these drawers. Literally so much storage. You can stack these however you want. We just put them underneath our bed because that was the easiest way. Over here, I usually keep my laptop and I just charge it right here because we have a power outlet. This has my phone charger. I can charge my phone at night. And so I just usually keep that underneath here. Then I have this little laptop desk. This is from TJ Maxx. This is a lifesaver. Highly recommend this if you're a college student. Because I like to do my school in my bed a lot because it's really comfy and I just like having this desk so you don't get like radiation from your laptop because that's not good, fam. Then right beside that, I I have my laundry bag. I just put my laundry in here. It just fits perfectly and it's easy to get to. Next to that, I have my two ginormous hat that I don't wear that often, but I brought them because I love them. Now I'm gonna show you guys what's up like behind my dresser things underneath my bed. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because honestly, you guys probably don't care what junk I have back there, but just in case you wanted to know how much storage you have here, I'm gonna show you. So once we crawl back up in here, you guys can see I have a basketball because I like to play basketball. I have some tools for my 3D design class. I have my fan back here in case it gets hot. Some blankets, my ring light, a little basket, and then another basket back here. Literally, it's just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. And yeah, that was really hard to get underneath there and it just like ripped my hair out, but that's what's underneath my bed. And I think the last thing I have to show you guys for my stuff is the windows. I'm obsessed with the windows we have. I'm on the top floor of Commons too. We have three windows, which is so, so nice. And we get like a really nice view of the mountains. So I'm gonna show you that. These are our glorious windows. For some reason, those blinds will not stay open. So I'm sorry, kind of ruined the moment. The curtain rod that's on the top is from Target. Then I have these two curtains on the side. These are from TJ Maxx. They don't cover the whole windows, but it's okay because I usually don't have them closed because I love the way the view looks. Let's see what we can see out here today. Day. So this is the nice little view we got. It's so pretty out here. I'm just obsessed with it. It's beautiful. I could literally stare out this window all day. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my dorm room. If you guys watched my dorm room tour from last year, I lived at The Hill, and while I like that place, I definitely love Commons 2 way better. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'm hoping to come back and post weekly again, so we'll see, but definitely leave me your video suggestions down below because I definitely struggle with coming up with different ideas. If you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up for me. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button right below me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Blessing, blessings coming my way And I say thank you